I would say like the three things which I think are very important when it comes to marriage is love, I would say loyalty, and just being able to provide and protect for her. I think there are a lot of people which jump into a marriage nowadays thinking that everything is gonna be very easy, everything's gonna be like smooth sailing, but uh, that's not the way that it is. Uh, it's There's a lot of compromise when it comes to relationships and being together with somebody in a relationship is almost the same thing as marriage. I would, I would say the, the only difference is that you have taken that step and legally you guys are bind together. We've been out filming a lot today. August woke me up uh, and he was like, come on, we gotta go and film the wedding. So I'm like, okay, I just packed some things in the in the bag. Let's see here. What Let's see the got. equipment. We're gonna do like the presentation. You know, we got the, the big, the Ferrari over here. You guys know this is the camera which I always use when I'm out, out in Africa filming. This is, you know, this is my baby over here, but it has been good. So uh, yeah, you guys can uh, hang along for the ride. Whew. Hair is very important, guys. Having the right hair, fixing your hair, very important. What is up, Yam Squad? Welcome to another video. I'm in a very different place in my life right now, and uh, there's a lot that we have to talk about. Um, this right here is my book. And this is going to be my YouTube Bible, okay? Everything that I do, all my desires and everything is going to be in this YouTube Bible. The reason why is just because time is just running away from us and it's very important to document all your ideas. Everything that you want to do in life is very important to write it down. After you write it down, then you have to achieve 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 so that's what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna talk about the wedding that I went to film my big fat Swedish wedding starting from the beginning the reason why I did this specific wedding is because I got a phone call from my friend August Ekenberg he gave me a call he said I need your assistance at this wedding and need is something which I want to put a lot of emphasis on because it's better to be needed in society than to be wanted. So thinking of some essentials which you need to have when you are filming a wedding, a Swedish wedding, uh, very important with the lens, what type of lens that you pick. This is the 50. Uh, this one is good for close-ups and of course if you just, just want it to be beautiful and you have very low light, I would always recommend the 50. Always film with that one. Of course I have the 16 to the 35 which I use of course when I want something more wider but the 50 is perfect for those close-up scenes and then of course you get a lot of depth of field uh, here we have this beautiful baby this one is actually four terabytes I use this one when I'm filming like a lot 4k then I try to use this one and I try to take with my computer and I have my computer with me batteries I don't know how many times I've gone to weddings and something has happened with the battery. So it's very important to charge your batteries, I would say the day, the night before. Uh, you charge all your batteries and double check them that they're fully charged. And of course we got this beautiful baby, Versace. And this is just for the women, you know. So you arouse them as well because you know at weddings there are a lot of beautiful women. And last but not least, I would have to say this one, the lighting, right? The lighting is very important. Why? It's just because everything has to be properly lit. Uh, if it's not, it kind of like ruins the image. So it's it's kind of useless filming something with horrible lighting. So outside is always good. During the day is always good. But if you're going to a venue like this, it's good to have with you proper lighting. So if the bride and groom are standing there and they want some pictures taken, you come and then you just set up the light and then you can take some pictures. If you have good lighting, you can make it work with almost any camera. So I would say there, the lighting is 100% the most important.
There's a lot of people which divorce today because they do something with the expectation that the other person or their significant other is going to also do something for them and that's not the way to go uh, you should not be counting all the favors you have done for your significant other i would say the best thing to do there is just you do something with not expecting a reward almost like when you give away money to charity you're not thinking like oh when are the poor people actually going to pay me back that's not how you think you just give uh, from the kindness of your heart uh, second thing is loyalty. I think loyalty is one of maybe the most important thing when it comes to marriages. And then the last but not least, I would say is, uh, yeah, you got to be able to put it in when it comes to in the bedroom. You have to you have to do your best. Uh, <laughs> you can't, you know, you have to be Michael Jordan when it comes to that. Uh, you cannot have off games because this is the big leagues. Uh, marriage is the big leagues. And to, to be able to keep your wife my gosh, I've heard so many stories of uh, guys which are not not good at that, you know, they because usually some people like I would say like church couples usually don't really try out the merchandise before, but when they when they actually are driving the car, they maybe they maybe expected a Lamborghini, but they get something else. So, I would say like maybe 50% is to put in the work. I mean, yeah, you can have an off day. You can have like what? Tuesdays, that's like an off day where you're not really like revving up the engine, but Saturdays and Sundays, you have to, you have to go fully in. Just thinking about the wedding, I was just very happy for my friend. I was uh, just happy to see him happy and to see how that he has progressed and I wish him all the best. Uh, filming this wedding was beautiful. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are praying to the man upstairs because he is the man and uh, he decides everybody's fate. So show him some gratitude. And if I see you in the next video, I see you in the next video. If I don't, something, whatever. Lightning strikes or whatever. Um, it, was, it was good to see you while I saw you. Peace.